Thank you very much. Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, very happy to be there um, uh, to, to, to share a bit about uh, my experience in, uh, in the insurance area and, uh, let's say, the API. So I, I'm going to start talking about what I'm not, because it will be very clear for everyone. So it's more, uh, it's more interesting. So technically, I'm not a tech specialist, so I'm not the one was able to explain to you technically what I can do and what's great about APIs and things like that. I'm not specialized in APIs, by the way. I will give you my definition of what I understand from the APIs. Uh, and I'm not convinced platform APIs is a solution to all problems. So uh, what I'm, I am is I'm French, almost Singaporean, because I used to live in Singapore uh, during my youth, during eight years. I came back three years ago to set up uh, my company, but uh, so we can say maybe a bit that I'm Singaporean and my associate is born here, is a French, but born here also. So we, we, we came back to the source, let's say this way to set up the company. Uh, I'm passionate about insurance. So I'm the insurance guy in the team. And what I would like to explain to you today is how I believe that technology and insurance is very interesting and especially APIs and platformization. Um, I am an entrepreneur, but mostly I've done 10 years in the affinity insurance, which is very linked to uh, online distribution and technology, because technically every time you are doing B2B2C distribution, it means connecting to other providers to distribute insurance as a commodity, not as a direct product, but through another customer journey. Uh, and I founded UEX first, which is an health insurance distribution platform. We created the company three years ago in Singapore. And the idea was, was to make uh, health insurance for people and corporates uh, simple and human-centric again. So the question was not about API, about platformization at the beginning. The question was about the customer. How do we make it simple and human-centric? That was the beginning of the journey. Coming from insurance, old legacy in insurance uh, providers and insurance brokers. That was really the start of the, of the project. So um, scaling insurance distribution uh, with APIs. So first of all, I wanted to have like, uh, an highlight about the definition of scaling, because I heard a lot of time during the, 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 the presentation I was uh, about scale. So I just want to define how I, def I, how to, I define scaling. Um, to me, it's increased my capacity with the same level of resources. Capacity could be different things. It could be the value you create and the quality you create. So it's kind of an increase, but it's an improvement of your servicing, for example. It could be your volume. I mean, the number of contracts you are selling, for example. But it could be also increasing your revenue, meaning your profitability. And I think that the three things, but with the same level of resources. So that's really my definition of scaling. Coming from APIs, um, I'm not sure every technical guys will, be, uh, will agree with me. What I believe API is to me today is a functionality that enables us to interconnect systems and share data, which makes a lot of things easier, and especially in the insurance markets. So in order to do so, so there was uh, already a value chain sent, uh, presented by, uh, by AXA. Uh, I wanted to just come back to this because I believe that's where we are talking about APIs, is understanding the value chain today of the insurance market. Insurance environment market is from the, let's say it's when I'm like you, from the left to the right, is aggregator intermediaries TPA insurer reinsurer. It's important to understand what's uh, the value chain because you understand the, function, the function of every stakeholders in the, in the environment of insurance. Aggregators have different business models from the reinsurance company for sure. And that's very important also to understand when you talk about APIs. Re aggregators, they are comparing, generating leads to distributor who are there to convert these leads into contract of insurance, which is totally different. And the way they get revenue out of this is through lead acquisition, and they have one shot revenue every time they generate a lead. Whereas when you talk about insurance broker, intermediaries, agents, at this point, we don't talk about the same. It's like we get revenue out of the contract we sell. And I say we because UEX is a direct distributor license agent. 
So that's why I'm talking about that. And they are distributing products from insurance company. And insurance company has a role to play, which is risk covering. In the middle of that, you have TPAs, because the insurance company usually is not 100% uh, ready to manage all the policy management of his contract or the claim management and all these kind of, of things. So usually they delegate one part of the administration of this contract of the risk f to another uh, third party administrator. That's very important to understand also because you see that there is like a, a split of different functionalities and different roles in this value chain. So you have two ways to see it. You have one way to see it where you say, OK, I have a lot of money. I'm going to raise a lot of money, and I'm going to do all the value chain because that's the best, and that's where I will go, be good because I will do the one-stop shopping solution. Other way of seeing it would be more like, OK, everyone has a role to play and need to focus on his own value proposition and to focus really on the value you can bring on, uh, in the table. And that's where I believe that technology platformization and also uh, APIs can change uh, uh, insurance environments. Insurance is about risk mutualization. You know that when you pay an insurance product, you're part of a risk pooling. You pay for everyone. Potentially, you don't have any problems in the year, but you're paying for the other who will have any prob a problem. But the reality of the thing is that the operation cost, which is very high at every step of the journey, 40% of what the customer pays is going to the value chain, meaning it's not to cover your risk, the final services you want to reimburse you, but all what we have done in order to be able to reimburse you. That's very important to have in mind because 40% is huge when you look at this. Second point, ridiculous time to market. We were talking about it. Difficulty today is innovation is blocked because any creation cannot be deployed in the value chain in a reasonable time. I'll just give you an example. Um, one big insurance provider we are working with, uh, six months to revamp an existing product. Revamping means from the pricing, the terms and condition, being able to deploy to any distribution channels. It takes six months for him to launch. And it's not a big revamping. It's just an update of the pricing or some terms and condition different. In other words, it's lying in the text and the pricing table. So this one is very linked to the one Thomas was explaining from AXA on what's important today and what I believe, what value we can bring today with APIs and platformization. Three big things. Optimize insurance operation cost. For sure, APIs and functionalities like this, because we will split and create the value every, at every step of the value chain and optimize the cost. Empower traditional and new distribution channels. What you need to have in mind is, I told you there was intermediaries, brokers, different from agents, different from direct, and usually today, people are managing, an insurance company are managing it differently. Meaning like APIs can be only one product connected to all those channels. And test and learn new products and service quickly. That's very important also on our side, is like being able to test again. Because today we don't test new product things because it's taking too much time, too much money in t internally for insurance company to, to deploy. So I, did, I told you I didn't believe that API will change the world. I think it can change the distribution model on insurance. API is to focus on customer value. And when I say that, it's really exactly what I was talking about. It's like everyone is focusing on one part of the value chain. I'm not the one, and our company, I will explain, is not focused on claim management. We are not there to reimburse you. People are able to do that. But we need to be able to connect to these providers and the best who is really focusing on that. API is to be customer centric. For sure, you don't care about uh, what the product behind and things like that. What you want is to be simple on an interface. Whether you're an intermediary who's selling or the US, you are the end customers, at the end of the day, you don't really care. So it's really to be customer centric, connecting to a product but changing the user experience. Uh, shaping the products and services, I will explain it after. Uh, API is to enhance multi channel distribution, I already talked about. So it's a technical solution to a multi-stakeholders, multi-channel, and multi-product multi market. That's really the idea. Because today, every insurance company will tell you that his health insurance product is different from the competitor. Reality is every time the same structure, every time lines, what's changed is the text, or the, line, uh, the, the level of coverage, or the rules to subscribe to this contract. So 
UX web service to be very fast is like we have been working on during three years of deploying and selling directly online health insurance for both individual and corporate. What we realized is, I mean, from a scalability point of view, it was very nice for us to sell it directly in Singapore niche market. We started by expatriates and we enlarged to SMEs market. But the reality of our purpose was ultimately to change the way people buy, understand, and personalize their health insurance. So the next step was to give access to other distributor which didn't have the capability to sell it the same way we were doing it, our tool. And you, sorry, and you can do that only if you focus on one thing. So I don't know. Um, I'm not focusing on uh, communication with the customer. I'm not focusing on the claim management process. I'm connecting to all those services through APIs. What I'm focusing on on my system is focus on distribution and policy management. That's really our core uh, goal and make it generic until we can scale it. The reality of the thing is an insurance product is every time the same structure. You have policy wording, you have pricing, you have all rule for accessing this product. Technically, you can implement it exactly the same way every time. Whether you connect it to the API of the insurance provider, it depends on the level of maturity of the insurance. But at the end of the day, you can every time make it very generic. The way to make it generic means with the same level of resources, you remember, with a very low level of investment, I can implement many, many different health insurance products inside my platform very quickly. And I can connect it to an interface, depending on the rules, which will update, but will be also generic, which is really the idea. So that's what we have done on the individual and uh, the corporate. I I'm not really here to sell about UX web service, so it's really to explain us to you uh, what, what's our journey. Today, if you look at the solution we've created, it's really about policy automation. You remember that we were talking about optimize the price uh, how much it costs for us on the operation. What we realize is when the guys pay more potentially between 10% and 20% of the premium is burned by the insurance company in order to issue the policy, to issue the invoice, to make the payment and everything, we can do it for 5% of the premium. So that's where we can optimize the price and it's not something very complex, it's just an automation and the good thing about using us as an insurance company is, as Thomas explained, it's uh, all a journey to change the legacy system. Whereas if they are connecting directly to our system, they can uh, have access directly to it. I don't say I'm doing that for every insurance product. I'm, no, I'm talking about medical insurance. After multi-product, multi-channel, that's also an important thing, how you can really uh, make it generic in a way that you can create a product which is every sufficiently generic so you can implement any kind of insurance, health insurance product. And multi-channel, you should not ask yourself if I can create an interface for an intermediary, uh, an interface for my direct, an interface for uh, my B2B2C distribution. It should be similar and it should be connected for most of all, it should be connected to the same product API. After what you get out of the microservices you have, it depends on what you want to you put out. Cloud-based platform, I won't get into it, but that's more to sell to insurance company to say we are some. That's a, a buzzword, let's say it this way. Um, what you need to have in mind also, uh, when we were talking about scalability of APIs, I just wanted to give you an example about what we are connected to. We don't do the CRM support. We don't do uh, the accounting system. We are connected to all the providers who have API driven where we can provide the service. Reason being, if tomorrow we work with another insurance company who doesn't have the same payment getaway, we need to be connected to it. So it's definitely also why we believe that APIs will be a will enable us to really scale the distribution. Because if you start saying, OK, to AXA or to FWD, by the way, we are working with Red Dot Payments, so you need to work with Red Dot Payments, you will never get somewhere with them in terms of partnership. Insurance as a commodity, I think um, Thomas talked about it before. Uh, insurance, I mean, when you go and you go and travel, you go to a trip, you don't think about insurance first. You think about where you will go, uh, where you will sleep, uh, what you will discover. 
So covering you for the trip is just part of the journey. It's not the journey. So that's very important. Insurance is a commodity, but because it has been very complexified in the distribution model and the way we were selling it, automatically it was sell sell sold like if it was a standalone product and a real buying process. But it's part of covering you from a journey. Whether you buy a house and you want to get a loan insurance in case you die or in case you, you lose your, 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 your job, it's just a coverage, but the real journey is like buying your house and getting, and that's really the idea. And that's what we forgot about insurance. So APIs today is very powerful for us because at any point of the journey, it will enable us to really collect the data which are relevant and to be very, very um, relevant in the product we are selling. So in other words, you know, when we talk about aggregation and things like that, like comparing products, I don't believe in this. I believe that APIs, when you're part of one journey, you will collect the data and enable to push the right product depending on the journey and depending on the profile of the risk. That's really the idea. Level of cover for the new risk you will face depending on the journey. Um, we were talking about balance of the force, but that's exactly also one point. I think from an insurance point of view, um, we have been too far, meaning like insurance companies, because they wanted to do more business, they wanted to increase the revenue they were getting out of their products, they started to sell options in their insurance products which were not anymore insurance, meaning servicing, and they included in it that, and the difficulty now we face is there was no risk behind, no probability, it was a reality. I'll give you one example, for example, it's health screening in medical insurance, health screening to have a medical checkup. Medical checkup, it's not a risk. When you buy a cover, when you want to have an health screening, you will consume this health screening. So in other words, there is no risk. It's not like if you were crossing the street and get eaten by a car and you go to the hospital. There is a risk here. But the health screening is just a service, an access. That's the difficulty we have. Today, because of APIs, Insurance companies start to think that we can come back to shaping the product, really offering insurance for what's really insurance. And um, insurance for what's really insurance and also standalone servicing when it's not anymore insurance. Optico, when it's just buying your glasses, it's just access to buying your glasses and have a good price. But it's not about insurance. So that's really the idea. So, I just wanted to give you the example on the insur health insurance side, but it's like really intensity risk and frequency risk. We talk really about insurance, hospitalization, general practitioners, that's insurance product. But when we start talking about uh, health screening, physiotherapy, that's consumption. So we need to be able to connect to the providers who can offer the service for the physiotherapist or for the health screening. But it's not anymore insurance. So APIs enables us to really simply Recustomize and put the bricks of each servicing and insurance product we can, we can distribute. Multi channel distribution, direct online brokers, agent affiliation. I already talked about it, but that's really also important for me. Uh, same thing, but different. Uh, every channel will tell you it's totally different, it's totally another way. The reality is we sell in direct exactly the same way we give the interface to the agent today in our business model. And the reality is nobody is complaining. The only important thing is like to be able to track the one who's distributing. And at the end of the day, the end customer is every time the same. You are focusing on the customer. So when people tell you, yeah, I need to create a specific interface for this uh, type of intermediary uh, versus my, my direct channel, I would tell you, I'm not sure it's, uh, it's really the question. The question is like, get access to the product every time the same way and give the ability to change uh, the different multi-channel model. So I think today APIs and platform economy is a real opportunity for insurance markets. But, and there is a but, I think today uh, we need to be patient. Uh, insurance company, uh, you see, you saw AXA. AXA is like as a real strategy, they see it. We can, we can also talk about FWD who was really API driven and we have a really good partnership with them because we are fully integrated with API. But we have also insurance companies who are not yet there. So we need 
to be also patient, and we need both, and that's very important when uh, I talk to tech people, we need both insurance guys and tech guys in order to transform the, the business. Because if you think about a tech point of view, you can do everything you want. But you forgot about one main thing, is like where they are today. And that's very important uh, for tomorrow. We need really in the future to be patient and to do one by one. What I believe from my point of view is like the API is a great opportunity to focus really on one key value proposition for each servicing. Whether you are working on that, and I don't believe in companies who say they will do everything. Uh, they will do the claims, they will do the insurance product, they will do the pricing, they will do uh, the data management, they will be the, the distributor. I don't believe in it because I believe that if you, in order to be good, even if you have a lot of money, you need to really focus on the value proposition. So I just come back to this slide. I, I, I don't intend to, to break and disrupt this line. I just would like that everyone on this line transform his business model so I can connect to anyone to be able to provide a better services. Thank you very much.